The Lincoln Co. Zero Two is a Volvo EX30 design to make car sharing easier. Hey EV lovers, welcome to EVpedia, your ultimate hub for electric vehicles. If you're as excited about EVs as we are, hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and drop a comment below. And if you want to help us bring even more amazing content, consider giving us a super thanks. This small crossover has a sharing strap that will take the driver directly to the app used to manage the car sharing program. The Link and Co. Zero Two can be leased, purchased, or used via subscription. It can also be loaned out via a car sharing subscription. Underneath, it is mechanically similar to the Volvo EX30. It goes on sale in Europe this coming December. The concept of car sharing has been one of those ideas that sounds great on paper, but fails to work in the real world. Of course, there's always the inherent grossness of a stranger using your personal vehicle without you being there, but that's not just the only problem. The apps to make it all work are clunky, often requiring phones and key handling, and just a whole bunch of nonsense that makes what should be passive income an annoying hassle. This week, the formerly PHEV only brand Link and Co. introduced its second EV, the Link and Co. Zero Two. This model is designed to take all the lessons learned from its PHEV crossover, called the Zero One, and make them that much better especially when it comes to sharing the vehicle. The car was unveiled this week at a special media event in Milan, Italy. If you've been following along to the Chinese market like I have, probably not though, you'll have noticed that there already is a Link and Co. Zero Two, an IC and PHEV hatchback only sold in China. However, according to Link and Co.'s press release, this Zero Two is designed primarily to appeal to European audiences and make the car sharing part way easier. While other brands have famously phased out their subscription-based purchase plans, or owner car sharing programs. Lincoln Co. says about 30% of Zero One owners share their crossovers. Thus, Lincoln Company is trying to make that easier for the Zero Two. There's a sharing strap that, when pulled, will automatically take the user to the app used to manage the car sharing portion of the Zero Two's ownership. Lincoln Co. also plans to continue the subscription model for the Zero Two, but details on pricing won't come until later. There are other improvements and nifty add ons too. For example, it has a hey honk which is an adjustable sound that allows the driver to honk and interact with the car surroundings in less aggressive ways. Also, the Zero Two has a selfie camera and V2L capabilities, which could be used to charge an e-scooter, according to Link and company. Mechanically, it's on the same SEA platform as the Zeker X, Smart Number 1 and Number 3, and Volvo EX30. Like those cars, the Zero Two will come with a 66 kilowatt hour NMC battery, good for up to 276 miles, estimated on the WLTP cycle. Curiously, it appears that the Link & Co. will be single motor, RWD only, unlike all of its platform mates that can be had in dual motor, AWD form. Thus, the Zero Two has a maximum output of 272 horsepower. Geely's brands may have a lot of overlap, but I do admit that the Link & Co. Zero Two feels like it has its own distinctive purpose, even if it shares a lot mechanically with a whole bunch of other cars. Once again, I watch from afar, salty that we won't get something this well considered for purpose for a very long time, if ever. Perhaps Geely should make Polestar rebadge or craft its own pint-sized EV crossover on the smallest variant of the SEA platform. The Lincoln Co. Zero Two will go on sale in Europe and China starting in December. That's it for today's episode of EVpedia. If you had fun, subscribe, like, and share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to give us a super thanks to support our channel. Thanks for watching and stay charged. Until next time, keep it electric.